Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome as we gather for this time of prayer and reflection. And as I was looking back, we began this season of Lent. I gave my homily on this book by Father Casey Cold called Let Go, Seven Stumbling Blocks to Christian Discipleship. And how did I know that letting go would be this great theme of this Lenten season with this COVID virus? How much we've had to let go of in our lives. But now as we approach the great days of Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter, these are holy days we cannot let go of. They're holy days to strengthen us in the ways of faith, holy days that renew us in the promises that the COVID virus cannot take away. And that's our faith in God, our faith in Jesus Christ. And today then, I want to offer the first reading it comes from our daily mass from the prophet Isaiah, speaking of the suffering servant. We've all had those moments of suffering in these past weeks, but may we have much hope in a God who is always ready to help us and who offers us this good news in the dying and rising of Jesus Christ. And so we pray from the prophet Isaiah, the Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear and have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help. Therefore, I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone who wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right, let him comfort me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? Gracious and loving God, as we gather in these even these holy upcoming days, may we be open our hearts to truly receive the blessings that you want to give us, that through the Eucharist, through the cross on Good Friday, and most importantly, through the greatest news of all, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, may we always know that you are with us. May we never let go of you, let go of our faith, let go of our gift of being able to unite as church in this holy time. Loving, gracious God, send your blessings upon all as we ready our hearts for these holy days. Send your blessings to renew us in our faith that we truly never have to let go because you never let go of us. God's blessings as the tritium approaches. <laughs>